You guys, I hadn't been to Trader Joe's in almost two months. So today, I made up for it. Hey guys, Kiri here from 50 Shades of Mom, tips for all shades of mom life. And I am back today to share with you my weekly grocery haul and meal plan that I share every Monday here on the channel. And today it's Trader Joe's. So I hadn't been there for literally almost two months, you guys. I'm one week shy of going two months ago. That's really, really long for me. Generally, I try and go once a month. So I went there this time prepared to spend a little bit of money, and I definitely did. I haven't spent close to 200 in a really, really long time, but I wasn't going anywhere else this next week for grocery shopping. So this is pretty much like my weekly haul, and we were completely out of produce. I went to Walmart and Sam's two weeks ago, so we pretty much had zero in the house. I also wanted to pick up our favorites and then some other things for meals coming up later on next month. So I did a little bit of damage, but I got a lot for my money. So I'm going to take you down to the counter. I'm going to share with you what I got this time at Trader Joe's, and then we'll get into this week's meal plan. All right, you guys, so here it is, all $180 in its glory, and I actually think, considering it's Trader Joe's, I got a lot for my money, and everything's quality, and it makes me super happy. Now, this is our giant produce section because it's been almost two weeks since I've been to Sam's. I have done none other grocery shopping since then, and so we are literally out of everything, especially with the school lunches and meals. We needed a heck of a lot of produce. So I got one bag of carrots. I got lemons for water and tea. I got a bag of broccoli florets, that's for lunches. I got frozen broccoli down there for dinner. I got a bag of the little tiny organic sweet peppers. Maya loves them, Jacob loves them. We put them in salads. I do use them for recipes, but Maya's been tearing them up during lunchtime. We were out of lettuce, so I got a thing of the organic romaine hearts. I got the Air Covert string beans. Jake will eat these like by themselves but especially if i have ranch dressing he will tear them up so that's a really good vegetable for him to have on the side of his lunch so i got him those and he loves everything pickled so i wonder if we can pickle some of them and try that and see if he likes it so picked up those for jacob and then picked up the tomatoes for my girl especially the little tiny tomatoes she loves these and they have the sangria tomato medley all the different colors which is the ones we love so I got that and then look how beautiful these pearl tomatoes look. I think I still have maybe a vine ripe one that I got from Walmart, but that was a couple of weeks ago and they were not sweet at all, like not good tomatoes. But these, these were calling me from the other side of the aisle, but they looked so red and so de delicious and they're called pearl tomatoes, which I thought was super cute. So I picked up those, they very much resemble my Campari. And then I got some raspberries just to tide me over until I go to Costco. I usually push berries in my house first and then things like apples and stuff like that fall to the wayside, which is why we still have apples, even with Mason in the house. I still have tons of apples because I've been pushing a lot of the berries and stuff on him because those ones obviously perish first. So we got the 12 ounce container of raspberries and then finally some strawberries you guys we haven't had strawberries in weeks and weeks because like i said i hadn't gone to walmart and it's been a few weeks since i went to sam's and then sam's didn't have strawberries so we needed some strawberries in our life so i picked those up i got one of these i think this was called a hot house cucumber if I'm not mistaken it pretty much looks like an English cucumber but thicker so I just got one of those I got the beautiful Saturn peaches look how gorgeous those look and they are so like they're ripe and ready and those are going to be so good the kids are going to love those and then I got plum cots you guys I'm I'm just going to keep purchasing them it's been almost two months since I've been there so the fact that they were still there I grabbed them no cotton candy grapes which is fine someone told me to go to sprouts so I'm going to check that out soon um super soon so I don't miss out on my cotton candy 
any grapes. But these plum cots are half plum, half apricots, and they are amazing. So if you haven't tried them, check those out. Got one a bundle of bananas. These aren't the organic ones, which I usually prefer, but I like to get them as green as possible. And all the organic ones were pretty much to the point where they shouldn't even be out and sold. So these were the most unripe that I could find. And whatever we don't use, because this is a fair amount of bananas on here, I'm going to make banana muffins because we're in need of breakfasts now that school is back in session. Um, got some fresh California nectarines. These aren't ready yet, but this is that perfect kind of fruit that can ripen a little bit in the refrigerator while we're eating on all those berries and bananas and stuff. So we will have those for next week got a watermelon got a bag of the frozen broccoli along with the organic frozen rainbow cauliflower i absolutely love this stuff i highly recommend it it's become one of my favorite frozen vegetables from there although this takes the cake as my favorite frozen vegetable i love the organic sweet cut corn they changed the packaging a few months ago so i keep passing it by almost but I still managed to scout it out. So I got my super sweet corn. Then I got a thing of string cheese for the kids. They've been tearing through their cheese sticks. I got some sliced provolone cheese for a recipe. I got some of the organic low-fat yogurt and vanilla for the kids' smoothies. Plus, I just did a Thrive Market haul, and I got these coconut flakes. And I thought it was going to be like cereal because it's literally coconut meat into a flake but it's not. When I opened it, it's not something I would want to drown in milk, but I think it's going to be really good chopped up with some nuts as a granola. So I'm going to use that on some of this yogurt and then the rest will go to the kids smoothie. So I got that. And then now I'm eating breakfast in the morning because I'm trying to sit with the kids and encourage them to eat quickly usually they take their time but we don't have time in the morning we're getting up we're getting dressed we're having breakfast we're doing our morning chores and we're getting into a routine into our school room so I figured these cool little cottage cheese cups would be good for me to have something small just to sit with them. And so it's the ones with pineapple and cottage cheese. I guess it's kind of like the Breakstones has one with half of the pineapple over here and then the cottage cheese on the other side. I wonder if this is going to be mixed together. I've never had them before, so we'll see. But I like those Breakstones ones. So hopefully I'll like that. Back here, I just got one gallon of milk to hold me over. And then I got some whipped cream cheese. We've been going through our regular block cream cheese and I do use that for recipes. So I just got some whipped cream cheese for bagels. All right, this has to be a compromise for my girl. So if you guys saw my Sam's Club haul, I talked about popcorn. We are big popcorn people in our house and Maya really wanted the pickle popcorn and she asked me to get it when I went to Sam's Club but they only have the Bell's Gourmet popcorn and it's three pretty small bags for almost $14 and I got them for the last couple of months because Maya's birthday is in June, Jacob's is in July, I did special little events for each one of their parties and so I got some of this gourmet popcorn to have at their parties but to buy it on a regular I just couldn't do it and I said baby girl mommy will get you pickled popcorn when I go to Trader Joe's as a $1.99 a bag <sighs> you guys I know it's a summer thing and I never should have promised her but they're completely out of their pickled popcorn and it's not going to come back until next summer so I'm pretty much going to have to cave the next time I go to Sam's you guys will see a $14 thing of three bags of pickled popcorn and I will just portion it out and I'll have to last her a wicked long time but this is set up the exact same way like this dill pickle hummus label looks just like the popcorn bag. So I'm hoping she likes this. She's liked hummus in the past and I love pickle anything too. So maybe we'll try this with the carrot sticks or something for like an adult lunchable kind of lunch. I hope she likes it and I hope it's somewhat of a compromise. I hate disappointing her. I never should have told her that they would have the popcorn, but I've never seen this before. So I'm anxious to try it. And again, I hope she likes it and it's a substitute for her pickle popcorn. I got the shaved Parmesan Romano and Asiago cheese. This is my third time getting it. You guys, this stuff is so amazing. Can you see? Let me make sure this focuses well so that you can see it. Look at the shaves in there. It's whole giant shaves 
of this Romano and Asiago cheese. It is so, so good. And I'm doing Alfredo and I'm also doing a cheesy kielbasa and pierogi dish. So this is going to go fabulous in that. So I'm excited about that. Um, Paul was with me and you guys and his sweet tooth. So we got some brownie crisp coffee ice cream sandwiches. We've gotten these before, like way, way back when. And maybe he's gotten them since he's been here. I'm not sure. But these things are really good. There's four, four in the package. And they're really delicious if you guys are into that kind of thing. Of course, I got some of the gnocchi gorgonzola for Jacob. He absolutely loves this, Jeff. And I usually just get him one bag because it's pretty expensive. And this is only enough really for one portion. So I got him this. And then for the day that he has that, since Jacob doesn't like corn dogs, I got the turkey corn dogs for the kids. There's four in there. So that'll be perfect for two separate lunches for them. So I picked that up. I got one thing of spaghetti, one thing of the farfalli, and one thing of the penny rigatti, just to have some pasta in the cabinet and some I need for recipes. I also got one box of the macaroni and cheese Wisconsin cheddar and one of the organic white shells and cheddar. I prefer the Annie's, but I'm not going to Costco for a little bit of time and we're completely out of mac and cheese. So usually it takes two boxes to feed our family, but I'm just going to do one box for each as a lunch once for each week. So I have that for that. And then I got a thing of the tomato paste. I love that tomato paste in the tube because I feel like I always waste a whole can and that's perfect to just use a little bit when I need it. I got one thing of the Trader Joe's potato cakes. We absolutely love these and I'll be able to use these for breakfasts or for breakfast for dinner. I did get some of these stone ground white grits. So this is not normally something I would buy, but we just happened to be talking about grits the other night. And Paul mentioned that the only time he's ever had grits was from Cracker Barrel and they uncooked it or didn't cook it enough and it felt like uncooked rice, he said. And I was like, nah, I've made grits before and they're super creamy and yummy. And he was like, ah, I never had a yummy grit. Well, don't challenge me. Kira's on it. So I'm going to go ahead and make him some grits. I'm going to do cheesy kind and then a sweet with like butter and sugar because he loves his sugar to see if he enjoys that. But I can guarantee you I'm going to turn his mind around on a good grit. Got some coconut oil. I need that. I usually put some of that in the dog's food. Last month, we went ahead and got the all-natural shaved beef steak. We absolutely loved it. Jarrell said it was some of the best quality steak, like shaved like that, that he's had. It's almost like a really good quality steak -um. And we use it for Philly cheesesteak sliders, I think. And so he wants those again. So uh, we are going to do that. The only thing I needed to get was slider bones. Man, that was on my list. I hope I don't need that before I go somewhere else. All right, mental note. Got my receipt right here, so I'll make sure to save that. I hope you guys are getting the prices popped up. Got two packages of the organic, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. So we will be doing Mississippi chicken at some point coming up. Got our golden round crackers. These are better than Ritz crackers. I highly recommend them, so I got those. I picked up some buttermilk pancake mix. It's just always good to have this on hand. I'm going to be doing, like I said, a lot of breakfast prep just to make sure that we have everything we need for back to school. Of course, I always need to grab the kids some cereal. So I got them the Trader Joe's Crunchy Cinnamon Squares. They're pretty much just Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but they love that. You guys, I'm so obsessed with this pizza crust. I absolutely love it. And we made a double batch of Marsala like a week or two ago. And we did it open-faced on a big piece of everything bread. And I melted cheese on top. And it was just so phenomenal. But we have extra sauce. And I froze it. And I'm definitely doing chicken Marsala pizza. So stay tuned for that. It is coming because yum. I got a baguette. I always get a baguette. And these are perfect to cut up and make croutons out of and we have no croutons and I just bought lettuce and good tomatoes and cucumbers so we'll be able to have a really yummy salad and so I'm definitely going to cook up some croutons for that three bags of chips and sadly there's no pickle popcorn in that line but I'm getting over it like I said so we got some of the pita chips I got her those to have with that pickle hummus and it's the parmesan garlic and herb I think she'll like that Got some of the restaurant style white corn tortilla chips. We Jake has already torn through the late July ones that I got from Thrive Market. And so I like to have tortilla chips on hand. So I just picked up those. 
Got some of our white cheddar corn puffs. Of course, that's in my top 10 of my favorite Trader Joe's items. My kids love them. I miss the ones from Aldi's though, you guys. The ones from Aldi's were like a really close second. All right, so I saw some of these pizza crusts. I've never seen them before. They were in the frozen section, not like this. Like this is by the bread, but this was in the frozen section. It looked brand new. It's two organic pizza crusts and says it's ready for topping. And we have leftover penny a vodka sauce from when we made penny a vodka last week. And we have leftover shrimp. So we're gonna do shrimp a la vodka pizza for Paul and I for lunch. That's right, because we love our shrimp and I don't get to have it often because of Daryl. So when we have some in the house, mama likes to tear it up. So I'm excited for that pizza. So speaking of the kids' lunches, I also got the this strawberry walks into a bar and she'll see strawberry cereal bars. And then I also got two of the cookies. So this is also in my top 10 favorite Trader Joe's items and it's the chocolate chip cookie dunkers. They're super long so you can stick them in your glass of milk or cup or whatever it is that you want to dunk them in and they are so so yummy so got those and then all right kim i'm guilty i'm done like just too many times of you buying them for me not to scoop them up and it's the first time i've actually ever seen them so it's the trader joe's chocolatey cats cookies cookie cats for people cats cookies for people whatever i don't even know she can't ever say it either so but it's pretty much like chocolate graham crackers and i got chocolate graham crackers from the dollar tree and my kids have been enjoying them for snack time so i thought they would like those and then of course you guys i always get my flowers from trader joe's and i absolutely love pretty much the same flowers every time and they have so many incredible flowers you guys again also in my top 10 trader joe's items but i just seem to gravitate towards the things that i love and these hydrangeas just looked gorgeous this time i could not wait to scoop them up and then of course i got my eucalyptus which i absolutely love and the eucalyptus that i got last time is hanging in my shower still and it still smells amazing but once this one is starting to die or once those completely die i uh, i will replace the ones in my bathroom and i'll hang those but they still smell amazing because that's how long they last all right you guys that was it so now let's get into this week's meal plan all right you guys i am hiding outside so i can film my meal plan because everybody is somewhere inside and i had no quiet place so i'm just going to take a quick minute to just share with you guys this week's meal plan so this goes for monday august the 24th to sunday the 30th you guys the last week of august so today for monday all right so pretty much none of this is staying in its place because i realize i don't have things yet unless i go somewhere else and so this is the meals we're gonna have this week it's just they're not gonna be in the order that they're in but Either way, hopefully we'll be able to give you guys some inspiration. So one meal we're having this week is kielbasa with crockpot pierogies. I will link that recipe that I got from Pinterest down below, but it sounds super yummy. And we haven't had pierogies in a really, really, really long time. So that sounds really good. It's almost like a cheesy Alfredo kind of sauce. It sounds yummy. Uh, one day we're gonna do copycat Mexican pizzas. I'm pretty sure that'll probably still stay for tomorrow and then i want to do a cinnamon twist so i was talking about that with my girlfriend so you guys know the cinnamon twist you would get from taco bell i don't if, know if you know how they're cooked but it's actually partially cooked pasta like the little curly q pasta cooked almost all the way and then fried to where they puff up and get crispy i've actually never tried it before but i was talking about it with my girlfriend and i was like hmm I wonder if I can do that. So I want to try and make my homemade cinnamon twist and just see if I can do it myself, especially while we're doing copycat Mexican pieces. It'll be like a Taco Bell themed night. One night we're gonna do some lemon thyme chicken thighs. Now these are the chicken thighs I had from Walmart like almost a month ago when they gave me all that extra chicken thighs I didn't plan for. I don't think I would use the boneless ones for that. When I do the boneless skinless ones, Daryl is just all about his Mississippi chicken. But I think I'm going to use the bone in ones to do this lemon thyme chicken thighs recipe. Again, this is something I got off of Pinterest, so I'll link it below. And I'll also do that with some roasted carrots and some Parmesan orzo, which that orzo is bomb, you guys. And I have a cooking video for that, so I'll link it up above. 
I already talked with you guys about the Philly cheesesteak sliders, but that's why I have to bump this maybe towards the end of the week because I think towards the end of the week, I'll try and squeeze in a Costco trip and then maybe I'll get the slider buns there. But I mentioned that Daryl wants those Philly cheesesteak sliders again with some French fries. He really, really loved that shaved steak. It was so bomb, you guys. Uh, and then on Friday, I'm pretty sure this will probably stay where it is because we have everything that we need. We're going to do that pizza Friday with some salad and we're going to do that Marsala pizza. I'm so excited about that. The kids will probably just do regular cheese, but I am so psyched about Marsala. And then usually on Fridays, we take the school day off. Last Friday, we went to the zoo as a field trip, but this Friday, we're going to stay home and we're going to do a lot of like science experiments and really fun stuff in the kitchen. So I'll probably film that and share that with you guys. That's why I put this here. The kids and I are going to do some baking, do like measurements, life skills, that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to do that with them. And then on Saturday, we're going to do a shake and bake pork chops. I wrote mac and cheese here, but then I didn't get the double packs like enough to do for everyone they're more for the lunches like i said so i'll probably put mashed potatoes there because i didn't really put potatoes on our meal plan at all and i have some potatoes that i have to use up so i'll probably do mashed potatoes with that and our rainbow cauliflower you guys know i love that stuff and then we still have two separate packs of shrimp one that i still have from mother's day and then one left over from daryl's food for dudes so one like i said to you guys we're going to use in that shrimp olive vodka pizza but that's more for a lunch for dinner we're going to do alfredo one night daryl really loves chicken alfredo but i love shrimp alfredo so i just like shrimp and anything i'm just a shrimp eater so i'll probably just do alfredo and throw some chicken in for the kids and for daryl and jake will probably eat the shrimp alfredo with me and Paul so we'll do that with whatever leftover salad we have from pizza Friday and I wrote today and don't forget because if all goes well and I'm able to stick to my schedule then I have a really fun announcement to bring to you guys on a Sunday so that is it for this week's grocery haul and meal plan I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you guys are new here and you made it all the way to the end and you enjoy these kind of videos I do go to Trader Joe's usually at least once a month and I I share a grocery haul every Monday here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys all so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.